Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I think it should be fine. <laughs> How's the audio? Hmm? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. Hi. <laughs> this is awkward. Um, it's always really strange being the first one to do something, right? Uh, but I'll do my best. So, um, today is the 16th of October, and well, it's 1 a.m. for me. I think it's a bit later for the rest of the members. Uh, and today, uh, CCC's first wave of flyers are debuting. The other members have prepared a lot of things to show you all, so I hope that you guys will give them your support as the stream relay goes on today, because we'll be doing them one by one as time goes on. That being said, I'm one of the members, right? So I should say something for myself. <laughs> okay, so. Well, first of all, I should introduce myself. So, you can call me E. I am a jellyfish. And... I'm 100 years old. The reason jellyfish can live for so long is because we don't use our brain cells. I'm the tallest member of the first wave. I am 172 cm. Tall jellyfish. <laughs> and as for my work, I work in STEM actually. Well, but I got tired, so I decided to just turn into a jellyfish. So uh, I am not employed, not in training, not in education. I'm a neat now. Well, to be honest, I do take things seriously, but I'm not really that serious. So um, the reason CCC got together is because we got together by coincidence and we did a lot of silly things and we call each other clowns and I thought, you know, a group of clowns is a circus. That's why it is 
see. Circus. So that's the story of the group name. Um, in terms of content, I don't really have much fix for a particularly long amount of time. So here are my thoughts for my schedule for, well, at least the incoming week. Oh, would you look at that? So I decided to fix that and commit myself to doing something like seriously this time. So my first challenge to myself as a VTuber is to play the entire Yakuza series from start to finish, which means I'm going to be playing it from Yakuza 0 all the way to like the newest one, like a dragon. Yes, all of it. I'm going to play like the mini games. I'm going to play um, like all the side quests, everything. Yakuza. So that is what's going to be happening on my stream as content for a long period of time. And uh, I hope that we can play it all together and see what happens. I'm not going to rush it, but yeah, other than collaborations with my groupmates, it's just going to be entirely focused on this series. Uh, I, I know it's really popular and really well loved. A lot of my friends kept telling me to play it, but like, I actually have no idea what happens. <laughs> Like, I've never played any of it before. I have no idea what happens. I asked them, you know, I was like, is it as weird as JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? And they said it was, it was even weirder. I was like, how, how can it be weirder than the cherries? Well, I'll do my best about it anyway. So, yeah. Mm, I don't know if anyone who can speak Chinese is here at the moment, but either way, I don't think Chinese is good anyway. Uh, so I'm actually fluent in Chinese as well. So um, and I think it is a bit lonely sometimes in the group because I think I'm the only one who can speak Chinese. So I enjoyed being able to speak a bit more with the chat if possible. Um, I think I'll try to include some Chinese subs. Uh, all my content, but also I want to mention someone now, uh, Pirini, who is actually in the CCC Discord server, and they offered to do subtitles on Bilibili for my content, which like I've given them permission, and I'm really surprised and also flattered that someone wants to do that. Um, oh right, have I not changed it back? Oh my god, OBS is a pain in the ass. Yeet. There we go. Thank you, Lago. But yeah, um, oh thanks wow, yes, um, so we actually have a Discord channel, um, we're like a general channel and stuff and people can talk in there if you want. There should be notifications, if I set the bot up correctly, <laughs> of whenever someone goes live, someone streams, um, it should work. If it doesn't work, I'll fix it later. <laughs> well. As thanks for attending my debut as well, I'm going to tell you guys a small secret. So the week after, so the week after my current schedule, I'm actually going to Switzerland. I'm going to go visit Geneva, actually. Oh. Shit, what does the flag look like? It's like just like that, right? Like a plus. Is this like the red cross flag? Or is it... The Swiss logo. <laughs> Wait, swear? What swear counter? Did I swear? Oh my god. Did I swear? I didn't realize it. Oh well. My model is being eaten by the chat. I will move my model gently. It's both? What do you mean it's both? Oh, it's both. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Well, there, you know, I, I thought maybe it'd be nice to dust off. Um, my filmmaking hobby after a lot of years, make a vlog, but I'm still kind of thinking about it because I need an anamorphic lens. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I thought about it because, you know, as I've gotten older, my memories of the past that I didn't, I didn't realize were precious at the time have kind of gotten faint. So I think I'd like to record some memories now to look back on. And it's part of the reason why I agreed to be in CCC. I wanted to search for some memories and I wanted to like have proof you know looking back in the future that I existed 
Well, anyway, back to the debut. So, uh, what else do people talk about? <laughs> I heard of I heard of this streamer. I don't know their name, but they have curly ponytails and they show like their endoscopy. Uh, <laughs> someone, one of my groupmates, showed it to me. Um, let's see. Oh, music. Uh, when my design was revealed, some people said that I look like Orange Miku Hatsune. <laughs> um, uh, I really enjoy Vocaloid, but I only listen to old stuff. Um, I haven't listened to anything new recently, so maybe I'll get back into it since like, I'm an anime character now, I guess. <laughs> so like stuff like, you know, like the Servant of Evil series, Romeo and Cinderella, the Benzene series, Deep Sea Girl. Um, my favorite... Vocaloid is probably Gumi, actually. I don't really like things that are too high-pitched. Or maybe like Len. Yeah, I think those two would be my favorites. But these days I'm quite simple, I just listen to popular music. Um, while I was preparing for debut, I listened to a lot of like K-pop, so like Hyorin, Tiffany... I guess Tiffany might be considered an English artist now though. How do you draw Gumi's hair? It's like short and like wavy. Like a bob. I don't know how to draw it. And then Len is like, has a ahoge. And then he has like hair like that. No, that's Rin actually. But you know, you get the point. <laughs> I do enjoy music a lot, but you know, in the entirety of CCC, I'm the only one who can't sing. I'm the only one who's bad at singing. Everyone else is really good at singing in the group. So <laughs> I always failed the singing test uh, during my exams. I think the other members might show off their abilities later during their debuts, so, you know, look forward to it. Maybe, maybe for my debut, I'm talking a bit too much about my other members, but like, I am very proud of them, so I think it's unavoidable. Because everyone exceeded their comfort zone and they worked really hard to debut, you know, so... Well, we don't have a big company behind us or anything, so I guess it's more freeing in a sense. Um, and I think that made it easier in some ways because we have more freedom to do what we want. But either way, um, they worked hard to be able to get together everything by themselves. And I think that's great. So support them or else. <laughs> I should... I'm going to conveniently ignore that chat. <laughs> I should also talk about... No, no, actually not anything about... I should also talk about uh, my artist and my riggers, right? Hello. Um, so my artist is the just incomparable Matsushima Sumiko and eh, artist. No, not yellow. Back to text. <laughs> um, I kind of gave them a hard time. <laughs> I asked for my model because all I told them was, you know, I like the stars, I like the ocean, and can you draw something that's warm? That's all. <laughs> and with something so vague, they made a really beautiful design. And it's like they had like a massive wait list. It's like one or two years long. So I feel really lucky that they accepted my request and created me, you know? On the other hand, um, if I can not accidentally break my microphone, <laughs> my rigor is wow. So, oh my gosh, there we go. Wow is one of my groupmates as well. Um, their own debut will be right after mine. So in... Is everyone good at doing maths here? 42 minutes. In 42 minutes. At the next hour. <laughs> They're going to debut as well as a VTuber. Um, so please give them all your support. Um, rigor. I... Rig... <laughs> Look at all the toggles they gave me. <laughs> this is the most important one. This is the most important toggle. There's no, there's no toggle that's more important than this. Okay. Speaking of which as well, um, the relay is, I guess you could count it as a collaboration. 
you can count the um, relay that we're doing now as a collaboration. Um, is it is it spoiler to talk about it? Like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> so in the group, we're gonna be having like collaborations for a variety of things. So for games, we're gonna be thing like playing things like horror, like phasmophobia. Wow really wants to play Devour. I don't know. You know, Wow, it's like a tiny and cute fairy, but then they're like, let's play a horror game, and then the rest of us just they're like, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be playing things like that together, um, or like maybe party games like Gang Beast. You know, like in CCC, we really love killing each other, so uh, please look forward to that. <laughs> uh, what else? Besides that, as well, we came up with the concept of CCC's classroom, a CC classroom actually, too many letters there. So some members, maybe just one, will take like a teacher role and they'll talk about a subject that they're really interested in into the others. Like students, you know. Um, everyone in CCC has a lot of interest and talent, so I think it's, it's personally it's the show that I'm most interested in myself. We have plans for others as well, but like I'll keep them for the others to talk about on their streams if they also want to give spoilers. <laughs> well, I think it'll show off their various personalities and colors really well. And yeah, so hopefully you guys will tune into that. Um, I think I'll work hard on editing that for as a YouTube video. Uh, I think I mentioned it on my Twitter before, but I was thinking about giving like CC classroom on like either tarot or astrology because I do astrology um, and tarot, particularly the first one. Um, or maybe about like genetic memory or microchimerism, you know. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe you know what? Maybe we should make it a rule in the group that the topic will be secret until the stream itself. And I think like that would be quite funny. It probably makes some really interesting reactions. Um, in terms of tarot, I think there's a lot that could be said, but at the same time, it's hard to go in depth since everyone practices it differently. And well, I don't think my VTuber is really like a tarot base <laughs> you know that's like no fortune telling or anything you know if anyone's a fortune teller in the group it's Stellan can I spell Stellan's design <laughs> um yeah I'm not I'm not going to do that but yes um Stellan's not debuting today but they are unofficially going to be uh wrapping up everyone's stream at the end so you'll get to see a bit of them as well and yeah, what else is there to talk about in terms of a stream? With games, I've listed my stream rules. I think it's a good time to talk about this. I've listed my stream rules in the description. So I'll be mainly, mainly uh, streaming on YouTube because... I'm about to say this because Twitch is bad. <laughs> I'm sorry that my groupmates will stream on Twitch. I think like half of the group streams on Twitch, but I don't because I've had bad experiences with Twitch, so I don't anymore. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so my stream rules are like all in my description. And one of them is I don't mind backseat gaming, actually, uh, because I have no no thoughts. Hit empty. Backseat, okay. Seat. Okay. I think it's a bit pointless to talk about other games that I play because I'm not going to play them on stream until I finish Yakuza which is like aren't there like seven <laughs> games in the series it's going to take me so long to get through all of them so well I mean we're not gonna have a shortage of content but yeah <laughs> I did write in my VTuber card though on my Twitter that um, I like roguelikes so that's a genre I like a lot and I play a lot in my free time eh. oh no not rue can't spell rogue likes and um yeah like yakuza rpg games um i kind of enjoy hack and slash games as well like bayonetta i i, I feel like near automata counts as hack and slash kind of so that would be the kind of games i'd be playing on stream but like also <laughs> also in like half a year's time at best <laughs> 
Hello, hello to everyone joining. Um, welcome to the stream. I know it's really early in Asia. It's like what? It's like eight, nine a.m. So thanks for joining. Um, uh, because I personally don't wake up to the afternoon if I don't have. <laughs> and then we're nocturnal jellyfish. Um, nocturnal. <sighs> Oh my god, for a second I thought I just uh, transitioned my scene by accident again. OBS is so like confusing sometimes. <laughs> what is there else to say? I don't really feel there's that much to say because you know I'm the kind of person who likes to just get into things and just like get them done. Um, it could be possible for me to just, I don't know, gorilla stream a game or something now. <laughs> I'm not set up for it to be honest. So instead, actually, why don't you guys tell me about your day? How has your day been? No. I know a lot of you have just woke up in the morning. Maybe some of you are in like cursed time zones. No, I'm in a cursed time zone. It's like 1.24 in the morning for me right now. But I didn't like, I didn't want someone else to have to go first. So I was like, okay, I'll uh, do mine first at like 1am. <laughs> also, fun fact, like... You guys might have seen on my Twitter that it's like what I said, like we are experiencing technical difficulties. The technical difficulty was that I didn't have my tie. Part of my model was missing, like part of my clothes were missing. And I didn't realize until like five minutes before coming live. And like I only realized because someone else <laughs> called it out. And we were like, oh my god. <laughs> I had to fix it. And the thing is, I didn't have the file. Because I'm not my own rigger, so I didn't have the file. So I was like, wow, I'm missing my tie. Where's my tie? <laughs> so I think I think that's just like emblematic of the kind of content you're going to be getting. It's just an absolute mess. But it is what it is. And we, we carry on. You know. You went to a power wall. I'm curious, what is that actually? I've heard of them, but I don't know, really know what happens in them, you know. I think one nice thing about streaming is that, and also just kind of being a content creator in general, is that like, if you engage with your audience, you get to meet a lot of different people from like everywhere, a lot of different backgrounds, which is hard to get, I think, in terms of real life, especially like, you know, with the pandemic. <laughs> so that's, like I said earlier, um, Joining CCC, I wish to look for memories and becoming a content creator is because I wish to meet more people in the first place. And I guess I achieved my goal, you know, and I want to keep doing that. Have I been up to anything lately? Uh, today, lately. Where did lately come from? <laughs> today. <laughs> I woke up pretty late. I did some cleaning. Mostly I just spent most of the day preparing for debut. I say preparing, but like, it's not like I have slides. So it was mainly just, um thinking about what to say and draw on my, my ears of paint. <laughs> Besides that, uh, we discussed a lot about things for CCC and apparently couldn't use my eyes and figure out that my model was missing a part of her clothes. They're similar to festivals, typically an inter-tribal gathering where we celebrate our cultures, give thanks, and come together. So, oh, that's nice. So it's like Thanksgiving, but not colonized, basically. You know, like I think it's like Thanksgiving soon, isn't it? In the West. Yeah, it's October already. It's Thanksgiving at some point soon. I don't celebrate because I'm not white. <laughs> I'm not, so um, it's not something I celebrate. Um, but it's probably nice to have some, some sort of thing like that to be able to gather a community. I think community is really important as clearly from the fact that, you know, I'm in CCC. Um, it enables you to do things, I think, and be brave to try other things that you might have been afraid to before. And also just to have like a sense of belonging. They are open to everyone. Oh, that's nice. It would be nice to go to one one day, but America is so far away. Plane tickets are expensive. 
Wow, can you turn me into a flying jellyfish? Maybe I can go there. Why, why do you, why did you put a flushed face as I said that? <laughs> ideas for future. Ideas for four. 2.0 Flying Oh no Flying <laughs> Model showcase Okay Um. Let me Oh no YouTube studio is not agreeing with me So if I zoom in on my model While, as I know it, paid particular attention to my face rig, um, my mouth rig is not working well because my microphone is bad. <laughs> and yeah, I have to um, position my microphone and it blocks my mouth a bit. So unfortunately, technical difficulties are happening. Yeah, I know, right? Well, did such a great job. And they also rigged a couple of expressions for me like I showed just now. Like I said, this is the most important one. <laughs> one thing we noted in like while we were discussing my rig is the fact that my character is like permanently either a gremlin or a pensive. There's no in between. So either it's like or it's like there's like no in between. Like she, I don't I don't know how to make any other expressions. The thing is, when someone else uses my rig, they can make different expressions, but I can't. And I'm like, you know what? I've just resigned myself to my fate. The CCC Discord channel is just full of me being bald. <laughs> like just my hair just being removed. I'm just bald there all the time. And I'm like, why? <laughs> I've just accepted my fate at this point. It is what it is. Um, in terms of the rest of it, you can see that outfit was fully designed by Matsushima Sumiko. And I think a lot of people were a fan of like the waves. So if you zoom out a bit so I can show it all. So the shawl that I have on as well is actually a wave and it matches the bit on my skirt down here. Um, the leggings and the tights on the arms, I don't know what you call them. It's tights on the arms, correct? <laughs> you know what I mean, the sleeves. They were originally plain back, and like in the first draft I got, and I was like, can you make them starry? And like with the gradient? And you were like, yeah, okay. And then they did that. And I, you know, I think that fits perfectly. Yeah, they did an amazing job. I'm just like, how? Also, you can see like the tassels here, which I think, you know, jellyfish are actually transparent. You can see like my thighs through them. That is very important. And yes, as well, my the tips of my hair are actually translucent. I think you might be able to see it in the background. You can see a little of the background through it, perhaps. And also the fingers. You can see my hair through my fingers. So actually, my hairs are transparent as well. My feet, I'm wearing high heels. I don't know why I'm wearing high heels, because I actually hate wearing high heels. But uh, we make do in order to be tall. <laughs> <laughs> wow also gave me fangs so originally I did not have fangs um, in my original design but I think they're very cute and they contribute to the gremlin aesthetic of my model oh, also speaking of like aesthetic everyone in circus is food for some reason it's gonna be a recurring theme like when you see everyone else's thing later everyone is food for some reason like I like jellyfish is food apparently, and then someone was like, um, saying my hair was like bread, and I was like, oh my god, yeah, it's like the you know like those bread, like bread. Someone said like someone said that, and then I'm just here like, this is my hair, isn't it? This is just. <laughs> Then they were like, oh, that's what the pin is for, is to keep the bread in your hand. I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess. That <laughs> but yeah, overall, um, Orange Miku Hatsune, 
Uh, I think it's really cute. Besides the fact that I'm always being balded. <laughs> I do like my model a lot. I don't know if I'm going to get like a new outfit or something, but I figured, you know, I should focus on my dating first before thinking about those things. Please don't eat my hair. Yeah, it's not actually... You know what? Wow, you should make a toggle where you can like remove my hair. Like it just falls off. <laughs> See, it even has a skewer through it for convenient eating purposes. Speaking of cooking as well, I was thinking of doing a cooking stream. I think it would be nice to... Ball E Cannon, oh god, please. Um... With regards to f the cooking stream, yes, I get distracted so easily. I have the attention span of a jellyfish for real, dudes. Um, yes, with regards to cooking stream, I enjoy cooking a lot, but also I feel like I, it takes me a really long time to cook, so I don't know what I talk about while cooking, unless it's just like ASMR cooking and like chopping up things nicely. And I, I don't know, is that something you guys would be interested in? To just like work jail? Just like do your work and have it like in the background as like stream or something. Oh, more, oh right, yeah, I have to do all the things. So I posted on Twitter some time ago um, ideas for cooking. And she suggested um, rice <laughs> with the Yara Naika face. I don't know if you guys are, you know, I, I don't know if you guys are like old enough to know what this is. That's all of you whippersnappers in the chat. I'm one of the oldest members in CC because I'm 100 years old. So, official boomer. <laughs> Do you guys know this face? <laughs> so, G and I worked together before and one of the things because she's a really good artist so one of the things she'd always do on like the display boards was to draw a human makeup face I, I, you know i actually don't know why but it's really funny and then we just like she just started doing that all the time and it just became a thing between like all of us <laughs> hence this yara naika I apologize for being unable to speak Japanese properly. JP, no. I cannot. JP, not okay. No, speak JP, not okay. I do not want that to be taken out of context. The internet is a scary place. <laughs> Oh my god, you're right. I should make a pin for my Yaranaika. Put it on my character. <laughs> it takes me a long time to get it. Oh no, this is a fake PNG. You know, you know, do you guys know like when there's a PNG and then it's like a dotted thing in the background like it's like oh i'm transparent but then you download it and it's a jpeg and i'm like excuse me how dare you <laughs> how dare you yes my jp is not jozu i'm so sorry you know what i'm just going to save this because i can't be bothered oh yes why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, right. I keep forgetting that the chat lags a little bit behind what I say. So I'm just like, why are you screaming about what I just said? And I'm like, oh, right. I said something totally different like 15 seconds ago. Attention span of a jellyfish. <laughs> Browse. Source. I wish I was faster at using... OBS. I'm still really inexperienced, so please forgive me for that. I think I will get better at some point, eventually. <laughs> Incredible. This is, this is quality content, you know? <laughs> Uh, 
So this is how I'm going to finish off my stream. <laughs> now you guys understand what you're in for if you follow me. So my sincere suggestion is that if you want to watch a serious streamer, please follow everyone else in my group. <laughs> Well, in any case, uh, <laughs> my rig is Yaranaka. <laughs> but yes, uh, in any case, it is what it is. I think out of all the members, I might be streaming the least because I'll be quite busy um, with my work, with my day job, and things like that. Uh, I'm not particularly, I think I'm not particularly concerned about trying hard to put it bluntly um it's more of when i do do content i think i would try to do it take it a bit seriously like you may you may find that i'm not taking this seriously but i did try to do my debut very seriously like make like a uh, presentation like structure the whole thing perfectly like write the script like from start to finish but like mm, it doesn't feel right you know? <laughs> so yeah, like no one's really that serious uh, in the circus. I think we're serious in the fact that we want to do it sincerely, but the ideas that come out are just questionable. <laughs> and I think that in itself maybe is like the charm of our group. There are so many people who take it very seriously, and you know what? I respect that. I think it's good um, and admirable that people are able to like so seriously focus on what they want to like the thing that they want to present to others like i know people who made like whole events that last a week with like quests and stuff and like amazing overlays like i think you guys probably know what i'm talking about it was kind of big like a few weeks ago it was like super cool but i'm just like i'm a clown though you know just mm. <laughs> this you know like mm. Is that really me? Hey, I actually want to try this. <laughs> I need to make a Yara Naika face and like put it in my VTube studio as a toggle. Because right now it's just on my OBS. Oh no, it won't go away. Wait a second, my dude, my... Oh no, my clown wig's not gonna go away. My clown wig's not going... Hang on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> So for the next idea for my rig, then what, am I going to just be a flying fish? <laughs> I think presenting something you wish to tell people is quite important, yes, since I think if you go into something with no preparation at all, you could consider it as, you know, not really respecting your viewers time you know like you guys took your time took time out of your day some of you even like woke up early on purpose or stayed up late to come support me so like the least i could do is like prepare seriously in my own way um so hopefully it's not like it's not disappointing and like you guys are entertained by this you know oh god <laughs> you gonna make it a toggle uh, how is that toggle even gonna look like are you going to replace my actual face like, just just replace my whole face. Like, just yeah, right. I can, you know, is that it? Is that what it's gonna be? Just that? Just just rem just remove my my whole face. Is is okay? I I see. I had to threaten Wow to take payment for my rig. They were like, no, I want to rig your model, and I was like, no, take payment. And they were like, no, and I was like fine i'll accept the discount but take payment and they were like fine and then they didn't send me the invoice for like two weeks and i was like where's the invoice where is the invoice i was like where is it <laughs> i was like give me give me now let me shove money for you but yeah seriously um one thing that I'm concerned about a lot with artists in general, especially with like the rise of AI and stuff. Um, to be clear, my stance on AI is 
don't steal art to do it. I think it's okay for um, royalty free stuff, free like that isn't copyrighted, and I think it's okay for like things that have passed that like threshold to be public domain, but like not for privately created content and stuff. I think that's just wrong. So because the rest of my group are artists, and you know a lot of my friends as well are artists, um, I think that's pretty important. And if anyone is here, if anyone is here, if anyone's watching, and you, I find out you don't pay an artist for the work they've done for you, I'm going to look for you, and I'm going to hit you with a bat. Okay, please. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I do believe that it's fun and it's interesting technology. Like, you know, having like studied it and worked with it and developed things for it, I think um, it has a lot of practical applications, but not when it's used to like steal things. Like, I think it's really useful for like creating solutions to things, but you know, absolutely not um, stealing. No, I think that's just wrong. <laughs> I need a bat as well. I need like a bat um, emote or something. You know what I should do? I should make like my um, stream alert, like a notification, like just a bat hitting, <laughs> hitting my character or something. I think that would be quite cute. I can't get over the fact that like the transparency works on my character, on the hair. Like you can see the thing behind me and the tips of my hair, I just find it... I don't know why, I just find it so cool. I think it kind of adds to like the aliveness of my character, since like it, it feels more like it's together in with the scene, and I think that's cute. It was an inspired idea, if I may say so myself. The, no. Stellan? Stalin is frozen on Stalin. Don't do it. You know, every time I'm like, you know, I want this thing or like this idea would be cool. I get like five people in my group, like, I'll draw it. And I'm just like, didn't you just say yesterday, like you're chronically overloaded with work? And I'm just like, oh, you'll charge me. Okay, good. See, that's how it should be. Don't worry, I'll charge you. Exactly. That's how it should be. Um, <laughs> learn to appreciate yourselves or else. I'm telling all the rest of you in my group, please. Oh my God. <sighs> this is how I this is how I perpetually feel. It's like hmm. <laughs> it's one forty six now. I'm trying I'm trying really carefully to not go over the time because I know everyone else has a lot of things prepared. Um, like I said, the next stream relay will go on to Wow as the next person at the hour, so in about fifteen minutes. Uh, oh my god, the Yaranaika face is just floating in the corner. It just it, let me put it more towards the center. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think everyone else has a lot of things to prepare, so I don't want to run over time uh, by accident. AI is like a replacement to Excel. I think requires a little bit of data variety. <laughs> I think you know Microsoft Excel is so irreplaceable. I did one of my like mini theses using Excel to write an algorithm to like generate a graph, which was really like, I didn't know you could do it with Excel, but then my teacher, um, my teacher who taught at Cambridge and then was like, I don't like Cambridge. And then just decided to go somewhere to teach, which was pretty funny. He was a pretty based guy. Um, yeah. So he was, he was the one who told me about it. And I was like, you can write an algorithm using Excel. And I was like, you can do a lot of things in Excel. And I was like, oh my God. The Q&A? Oh yes, the Q&A! So one thing we did in the group was to make a Q&A for each other. So I haven't looked through it properly yet actually. EKG. So we got each member to write something for the other members to answer on stream as part of our debut. So uh, <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> okay. This is the first one. Tell us your favorite dessert, but you have to tell it like cooking steps as cryptedly as possible, and we have to guess what it is. So my favorite dessert, my favorite dessert to cook or eat. 
my favorite dessert to eat. So you have to get a giant block of a frozen thing and then you have to throw knives at it really really fast a lot of times to get pieces from the block and then you put all those pieces into a bowl and then you put like syrup on it or like something sweet on it and then you put like other things that you like on it it is a kind of shaved ice yes a type of shaved ice it's kind of specific. Um, a Malaysian might know it, that's a hint. A Malaysian might know what it is. Um, usually you will put find like green things in it and red beans as well. Um, bingsu is Korean, but I do like bingsu a lot. I would say bingsu is my second favorite thing. Yes! Uh, in Malaysia, sometimes we call it chando. I'm specifically thinking about chando, but yes, ice champo. Yes. Not ABC. I do like ABC as well, but I wouldn't call it my favorite. Yes, chendol is my favorite uh, dessert, actually. Dude, gula malaka is based. It's too good. I don't like to use raw sugar or like even brown sugar in most things that I make because like gula malaka is just too good. It's unbe- It's un Fight me on this. It's undefeatable. There's no better sugar. Oh, chendol durian. So good. I love durian. You know, durian. I'm running out of space on my Microsoft Paint. <laughs> wow, you, Wow likes durian as well. Base taste. It's, it's so good. I don't know why people think it smells bad. It doesn't smell bad to me at all. Oh no, right, I'm being- I'm blocking it. Hang on. Let me throw myself away. Eh. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back. I think that should be okay. Um, since Wild likes it, I drew it on your banner. But yes, yeah, so that is my favorite dessert. It does kind of change, but like, oh, like depending on my mood, like sometimes I might like lava cake quite a lot as well, but overall, like, yes, shaved ice, specifically chandol, is my favorite dessert. Next question. What? <laughs> Who in CCC would you trust the most to put you in an aquarium as a pet and why? <laughs> Just move the Yaranaika so it doesn't block something by accident. Um, who would I trust in CCC the most to put me in an aquarium as a pet? I think... Lago? Like, I think they would be a bit confused and not know what to do. But they would try their best and like actively research on how to take care of a jellyfish, you know? I feel like Loon would just eat me. I don't think I'd be in an aquarium as a pet. I think I'd uh, turn into food. So, uh, y yeah, maybe not. <laughs> The rest, <laughs> the rest of them, I think they would do be able to do it in an emergency, but I'm not sure I wouldn't end up as food either. So I, I would say Lago, actually. Next question. Between all the CCC members, who do you think... Why is this all about food? Why is it all about what, guys? Guys? Why is it all about food? <laughs> Between all the CCC members, who do you think would make the best additional ingredient in a three-course meal? Three-course meal, what are the other ingredients? What are we eating? What is the food? Like, do you mean like a fancy meal by a three-course meal? Is that what you mean? I don't know who asked this. I don't know who asked any of these. They just like wrote them down in the list. <laughs> But this, this is the person who wrote it here. Looking. <laughs> no? Okay, I don't know who wrote this. But I'm going to assume that by a three-course meal, they mean like fancy food. So... Oh, you wrote it. Is that what you mean, Lago? 
Oh my god, when I widen my eyes, I look so menacing. Like, <laughs> that's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> okay, fancy food, right. Um, we have a sun, a jello rabbit. We have an onion. Like, we have a literal onion. Like, I'm not joking, like, literally an onion. Not, not a guy, not a gijinka, an onion. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we have an octopus. We have me, I'm a jellyfish. We have a, oh, okay, you know what? I think Taro would make the best one. So we have a, we have a hidden member that hasn't been officially announced yet, actually. So shh, this is a secret. This is um, secret content for those of you joining the stream. Um, yeah, they are a cow, basically. And yeah, why you steak, steak is great, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, that would be the answer. I think it would be uh, Taro. Can you glow in the dark, like jellyfishes do? Uh, does this count? <laughs> Question... Is E's lashes have his own life, or is it one of the... What? Is E's lashes have one of its, its own life or is it one of the jellyfish tentacles? Please explain. Okay, so some of you might have seen my Riggers um, Twitter account where they showed my eyelash rigging. Let me zoom into myself and try to show it here. I don't know if I can actually like show it well. Um, wow, how do I make my eyelashes wiggle? <laughs> but yes, my eyelashes are actually animated to wiggle by themselves. Um, obviously, because I am a Gijinka jellyfish, clearly they are my tentacles, actually. Um, my hair are my tentacles. Blinking, okay. Blinking. You see, I can't tell if I am... My eyelashes are wiggling when my eyes are closed, so... <laughs> For obvious reasons, because I have to close my eyes in order to do it, and I can't see when my eyes are closed. <laughs> but if you guys go to my um, Riggers page, actually, um, you'll probably be able to find it. It's wiggling. Actually, I might even like put it on... How do I... Wow, do you have the link of that post? The unresolved riddle, it will have to be solved next time because I'm almost running out of time and I should really answer all the questions. So there's one more question. Um, I don't understand. Guys, guys, please. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> guys, please. Why are all the questions about food? Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Is E a poisonous jellyfish or are they edible? I am just going to put this here next to this other food question um i think e is i think i think i should be edible question mark i don't see any particular reason to not be edible question mark <laughs> this is very concerning like I, I'm not sure if there's like CC cannibalism going on or something um, with my group. It's like CC culinary, CC cannibalism. Um, I think it maybe have to just be something I'll accept. <laughs> Circus become food. You know, one day we should just officially assign ourselves to becoming different foods. Yours are survivalists. What happened with your question? Okay, you know, I'm not going to spoil them since you got to use them on your stream later. Um, oh, look at the time. So it's almost time now um, for the next relay. Culinary cannibal- oh my god, <laughs> culinary cannibal circus. <laughs> so um, 
Thank you, Chi. Uh, but yes, I think my time is almost up, so I will be passing the relay on to the next member of the First Way debut soon. Um, they're gonna be on Twitch, so if it's not too much trouble, I would appreciate if you move there to support them. Um, I'll put the link in the chat, and I'll be attending their chat as well. So I'll be there, so you can come here and continue hanging out. Oh, but also, uh, before I go, one thing I felt was important to say was that, you know, no feeling is final. And like, if you didn't have a good day or a good week, or you know, even like a much longer time than that, it's not forever. Uh, things clear up one day because there are a lot of kind people in the world. And I know this because I managed to meet my groupmates. You know, so if you're struggling or, you know, if it feels like things will never get better, that's okay. You know, it's not wrong to feel sad. It's fine. But, you know, even if it seems impossible, you'll figure things out one day. You'll get to where you want to go one day. I wouldn't have thought I'd be able to become a VTuber, like, just like a year ago. But, you know, like, here I am now, I guess. Um, yeah, you're just, you're, you're a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. Okay. All right, so I'll end here for real now since it's time. Um, thank you to everyone for attending and hearing out this jellyfish. Uh, and I will see you on the other side. Thank you.